fight. Looking forward to it. He looks a little like Diego Brandau. He does, he does. a little bit, yeah. Yeah. He did. He got hit by a, a huge right. Yeah. Very, I mean, the guy, he, you know, Jason jumped in with a powerful down the pipe right, and it, it dropped him. When he came down, he didn't defend himself. He was right. getting hit, so what a great finish. And he was uh, he was circling to his power, too. I think that was that's what happened, and yep. Jason clipped him. Well, if you look at it, look at how far away they were from each other. I don't think, uh, I do not think that Daniel was worried about getting hit. Right. You know, yeah, hands I think were you're a little right. low. He was okay. He thought he was in, he was outside of range, and he wasn't. Well, and like, it's like it's like you said in the in the cage buck. I think he did. He was he threw off he threw off uh, Jason with with his striking at first, and then you could kind of tell that he was kind of like I don't know what's happening. Where right did now. this come from? Yeah. Right. So I think I think he got real comfortable. And, uh, right. and his gas tank, if he can't keep that gas tank, uh, you know, I mean, Travis is definitely going to dominate him. I mean, and I would hope that Alistair would learn something about getting knocked out by Bigfoot. And Small guy, and I didn't. I didn't want to like lose my crap and then just go go completely bananas on him. Uh, and then again, who knows? I don't. I might not have won the exchange. Right. So, <laughs> he's a uh, very powerful. Do they bring their own uh, uh, trainers up with them? I mean, because I don't see Jackson or Winkle John in the corner with these guys. They do have their own trainers. Uh, they recently came down. They haven't been here the whole time. Okay. Uh, but uh, you know, develop okay. too. Blaze of Perez. That's another kid that's just. Yeah. Phenomenal to watch fight. Love Cuts that guy. Hard-working individual. Can't wait to watch him perform next. Phantom Weight Division brought to you by Jack Daniels, Tennessee Honey. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. His background is in boxing and jiu-jitsu. At 5 feet 5 inches tall, he weighed in 135 pounds. His professional record stands four victories and one defeat. Fighting out of Dallas, Texas, here is Eliasar El Oso Rodriguez. 135 pounds. As Name, referee taking, in charge of the action, Raul Porata. Taking the Japanese and going in the L. Hispanicking it up. Hey, I like it. I like it a lot. It's very Burke. It totally is, man. <laughs> Calm reactions by Guido. Uh, very relaxed. Both guys trying to f kind of find their range right now. Oh, what he was going for there, for there, but it was it was really powerful. Whatever he was trying to do. It's concerning me that he keeps his hands down. I'm not gonna. Lie. Yeah, right out of the gate. That, that's. We'll see. We'll see how that works out. You see a lot of guys fight like that. Some guys, that's kind of their that's kind of their yeah. deal. But I mean, Anderson. So We've all seen <laughs> how that works out in the end. Right. Absolutely. Uh, this Guido kid has some gnarly leg kicks, gnarly kicks in general. Guido swung all the way back south for that. I mean, he swung way back. Ooh. Just swing a good exchange right there. Okay. There we go. I love it though. These guys are throwing, They're man. Just Maria staying composed, hands up. Moving around, making it hard for Guido to land him. Kick. Going up high, transitioning, good scram. Position before submission, he's already going for that lock. Hasn't got a good spot yet. Right. Kennedy defending really well. Attacking him. Trying to flatten him out. He does have him flattened out. I mean, he's, he, Kennedy's in the bad spot. Hands out and do some damage, soften him up. Kennedy looks like he's got a hold of an arm or something. That's what's keeping him from, uh, he's, he's slowing down that choke. Yep, from grabbing, Rodriguez. grabbing the hands, hanging out there. Trying to decide what he wants to do. If, he, if I was him, I would flatten my back. That's a good call by the referee right there, actually. Raul Parata warning him about punching in the back of the head. Good position, he's up high, elevating. Rodriguez's hooks are in good, man. Yep. But so far, he's anyway. He's there. Kennedy needs back. to work out the back door and yeah. get his head. Yeah, boy. He, it looks now, like Kennedy transition sh shimmying him off a little bit. Yeah. Shucking him off. Pretty smart. Trying to hit him. He is hitting him. Watch that transition to the arm bar. There we go. Uh -oh. Good attempt. Nice. Got a lot of interest from. Uh, oh, wow. Go. Good nice time. job by Kennedy. Great Coming show of strength. Now he's got his Very back. Very powerful individual. There we go. 
Oh, he's dropping good bombs damage, down there, man. Nice job by Rodriguez to get back to his feet. Absolutely. Good fight, gentlemen. Both these guys showing a lot of poise Absolutely. in there. Good defense. Good defense. He's dropping those hammer fists, man. Good transition. Hold the position. Rodriguez needs to push off the cage and try and create a scramble. Now, like he listened to you, Tom. Yeah, yeah well, right. now, that, now that he doesn't uh, have the cage to push off of, he really needs to right. work on his guard and, and uh, shrimp his hips in. Guido's doing a great job. Look at him pass. He's doing a good job of controlling his posture, too. Yes, sir. Yeah. Doing some good damage. He needs to control the ground game. He's letting him scramble too much. And now we're in the Now, now he's landing big. He has to watch the back of the head. Eddie. Great fight, explosive, Great fight. dynamic, fight. hard pushing fights. Those guys are hitting hard, you, slugging. There's something about those 30 fighters, the 35 or 20 fighters, Tommy. Yeah, great fight, great job, Guido. Really good push. Rodriguez, way to bring it. I, he, he pushed the pace. Yeah, Rodriguez has another, yeah, he, he fought a good fight, man. I mean, it's pretty good, it's pretty confident. I really, I really think the win got taken out. Salvador? I flunked out of uh, geography class. I, I think it's El Salvador. I could be wrong. Check. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Guido El Ninja Canetti. If I'm not completely wrong, it's fighting out of El Salvador. Bring it up to Buck. <laughs> yeah. Guido, how do you feel coming up uh, into Albuquerque? This is your first fight here. How does it feel with such a hard-fought victory? Aquí. Eh, me siento muy bien. De haber entrenado. De ida. Cabo y Cerrone. Eh, eh, Johnson. John Dutson. Eh, Capshaw, Son Goyito, Pérez, todos peleadores profesionales de UFC que los veía en la tele y ahora entrenan conmigo. Oh, he says that he's... Muchas gracias a toda la gente de Goa que me está mirando. Me cae mi Argentina. Mi profe Guido Astengo, que está acá, pero se fue a, a festejar con los chicos, seguro. Gracias a Fabio, a Juan Pablo por venir. A mi novia, a mi mamá, a toda mi familia, a mi abuela le mando un saludo, seguro me está viendo. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Canetti. Getting out of Argentina, my bad. It's like I was saying, Tommy, we flunked out of geography class. Man, I'm an American. <laughs>